Hello, 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 everyone. How are we doing today? Welcome to the show. Who have we got in chat? We've got Granted Guy, we've got Cyber Goddess, Dino, uh, Charlie, we got Danelle, Tehapo, Knowledge's Power, Jeff Keys. Welcome to the show. I got Miss Stanley's Vouch today. I've ordered some goodies. That's good, Dino. That's good. Um, definitely go ahead and at us on social media when you do receive them because I would love to see what you got. Um, very happy birthday to Core Daddy. Congratulations on the birth of his new child. Let's go, Zazus. Core Dad doesn't have a kid. By the way, it's like it's 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 just not like I, I slip it in here at some point. He he does not have a child. Um, TJD says hello, welcome. Anyway, dads, I still has to wake up at uh, at three, but glad I won. That's good. It's good to hear. Yeah, we, it is more money Monday, so we would have paid out. Um, we would have paid out pretty much everyone so far. I believe we still maybe have a few people, but I think everyone is now basically paid out, which is good. Um, Ali B, hello, welcome, welcome. Zeus is crossing, says James. Very true, very true. Today's questions, yeah. I'm very, very excited because we've got some good stuff lined up. Um, it's kind of good for, like some this one. I've got one particular question in today's show, yeah, that I'm like super hyped for because it's kind of like something I've been doing for a while. Um, that it just it just fits in very well with me. So that's very exciting. Um, Bev says I was paid. Thanks, my pleasure. Um, I do have the results for the top ten winners of today. Of well, top ten top 10 winners of more trivia this week that I will be revealing uh, later in the, I think, I think the 8pm show, I will reveal that. Um, I started a rumour that Quarter had a child so everyone would like Joe more, says Zeus. Says, Why would having a child make us not like Crawl Dad? That doesn't make any sense. Um, hello, hello, Joe, says Epic. Hello, Epic, welcome. Best camera says, Joe, there was a guy on my cruise who looked like you. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was me. Uh, I'm joking. I haven't been on another holiday yet. Yet. Um, neatly done. Hello, welcome. C Curtin3 says, uh, I'm stuck just below the limit. That sucks. Hopefully today you can uh, kind of kind of trickle above that um, if you're lucky. Shark leads. Hello. Welcome. Um, Corner's child is a menace has now cut that out because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. The rumors are menace. Um, Doppelganger Joe had an American accent though. It's the best killer. Ah, I see. I see. I do occasionally put on an American accent to, uh, to fool uh, people on cruises specifically. Um, so who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um... B. Jeremy says uh, in chat, hello, welcome. Uh, Johnny as well, hello, welcome to the show. Um, Joe, when should I expect the message? I don't know, what message should you be expecting? Um, to escape the paparazzi, that's it, that's it. Uh, uh, Mr. S12, that's it. Charlie says, can you do a Yorkshire accent? No, no I can't, no I can't. Not without being, uh, not without being rude to a, to an uh, entire... Um, culture of people, so I can't be doing that. Love from India says uh, Bajay, Bajan Roy in chat. Thank you, thank you. Glamanage says, I want a print. Huh? <laughs> I want Princess Charlotte to play the part of Crawdaddy's baby in the eventual film. That sentence kind of blew my mind. I was reading that like. Doesn't make any sense. I'm not not bored with that one. Um, has anyone heard of a show called Only Connect? It starts tonight and it sounds uh, it sounds bad. Don't watch it, says Zeus. Says. I would definitely recommend watching Only Connect tonight. Um, for no reason in particular. I just definitely recommend it. So if you you know you want to go turn it on, um, you definitely want to do it. I'm, I'm not saying why or like any any reason, but you definitely want to watch Only Connect. Um, Joe, those words are all English, says Clive Legend. What words are all English? What words are all English? Um, Only Connect is awesome to come out. It is. You definitely want to watch it tonight. Uh, my dad watched Only Connect. Epic. Watch it tonight, okay? I'm just, just, honestly, just watch it tonight. Um, never heard of Only Connect. You explain all the rules, please, Joseph, says Zeusless. I can't explain all the rules because it's too complicated even for me. Um... <laughs> Minesweeper, Susan Bicky. I am wearing my Minesweeper, um, Minesweeper thing, Taiwan John. Um, I've actually got a question for you today, which I think you're going to get right, Taiwan John. So keep, uh, keep tuned for that one. Um, anyway, we're going to get started with the show. You made it on time, Dot. You did make it on time, Dot. You did. Um, make sure you're watching Only Connect tonight. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Anyway, um, thank you guys all so much for joining. And um, welcome to more trivia. My name is Joe. Now, the rules of this show, straightforward. We have got 10 minutes to complete it. It's going to be five questions. I'm going to put it in front of you in just a few seconds' time. You're job to answer those questions quickly and correctly because the quicker you answer the questions the more points you're going to get and every single person in today's show above 30,000 points will be taking over a split of the prize money so there you go Joe if there was a connecting wall here right now you would uh 
what would you do to it? I would only connect it. Um, let's go ahead and take this off screen. Hopefully, all those rules make sense. Uh, well, let's get started with question number one, shall we? Um, straight into the show. Question one. Here we go. Now, can you guys tell me who this person is? I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Okay. And what show are they from? What show are they from? Not from Only Connect, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Phoebe. Phoebe from Friends. It is indeed Phoebe from Friends. Phoebe from Friends. Now, my question for you, question number one, is as follows. What song did this character perform in their show? Did this character perform Hairy Cat, Smelly Cat, or Tubby Cat? Vote away. The absolute classic song, which if you've heard it, you know the answer to this one. Absolutely. The comeback says Gruff in chat. Come on, make it happen. Not a clue, says Jiren. Wow, this is an absolute classic. Um, revealing the answer. It is Smelly Cat, of course. Um, is Foo's a Smelly Cat? She she isn't. She's behind me right now on her bed, so I can't be rude about her. 157 people getting that one right. 47 going for Hairy Cat. 50 going for Tubby Cat. It is Smelly Cat. Um, good job to everyone to get that right. Now, I found out when I was Googling this question a bit, because I was kind of like, oh, play the song, I don't know. Um, and when you Google Smelly Cat, there's a little guitar next to, next to Phoebe's like, photo. You click on it. And it just plays Smelly Cat on Google. I thought that was hilarious. Like, just random, random, like, Google Easter egg. But go do it after the show. It's good fun. Um, Joe, jo, that's not a cat. It's a bottle of vodka. Funny, Zeus. That's funny. Um, what are they feeding you? Says Test 1, Test 2. Hyperactive pills. I don't know. I just I just enjoy a good quiz, you know? Um, now I want to try it. It's anime, Dan. After the show, go, go look it up. It's good fun. Anyway, question number two. Here we go. So, we're actually... I've got a physical prop for this one, okay? Now, we're talking about... Talking about one of these, okay. Now, one of these is, uh, I'm sure Tom and John would love to see us in chat because you can probably read this. Um, it is my black belt, my black belt on karate that I have got. Here you go. It is a black belt. Now, here, this says, this is like Joe, uh, there, oh, there says Joe, and then Reggie Cans. This, this is my black belt. My black belt and karate, okay, which I wear every day, always. You just can't see it because I'm like uh, uh, waist down, you know. But my black belt and karate. Question number two: In karate, what name is given to the ten levels of this proficiency? Which, is, of course, the black belt. Is it San, Dan, or Pan? Peter votes in right now. Get it, Joe San, the cyber goddess. Maybe, maybe that's the correct answer. Maybe it's not. Taekwondo says uh, Jureg, not Taekwondo. It's karate. My black belt's in. It's a pretty looking black belt as well. I mean, I can't read it because I don't speak the language, but I know that says, I know this says my name. Okay, and you know what? That's good enough. Um, let's go ahead and reveal the answer. It is, of course, Dan. 126 people get that right. 58 go over San and 67 go over Pan. Um, so you've got first Dan, second Dan, third, etc, etc, etc. And obviously you can use the uh, Japanese as well. So, uh, Ni Dan, Shodan, Sandan, etc. Just some of the numbers there you can have. Um, Black Belt is impressive. I actually have a video for you guys because I thought I'd crack this one out of the archives. Now, the only the only place I could find it was on my Instagram. So I've taken a screen recording of my Instagram and cropped it. But I have a photo of me. When I did my Black Belt, I had to like punch a couple of like bricks things in half. So I've got a video here for you guys. I'm going to play it. Um, it's good fun. It's good fun. Here you go. Old memories. Old memories. It's a good video, right? It is a good video. Um, anime Karate Dan says Bartholomew. Charlie says my son is a Dan. Hey, look at that. Look at this. You got lots of uh, lots of karate people in chat. I like it. I like it. Um, Joe with the karate, karate th thirst trap. Wow. Absolutely painful. I was okay, actually. I know a couple of people that have done it have broken their hands, but I was all right. I was all right. Didn't break anything, which is good. Was that you? It was me. It was me. Believe it or not. Um, that's why I just some random video. But that's how I got, that's how I got my black belt. I got my black belt. Um, anyway, uh, question number three. We're going to keep it rolling. Let's go on to the leaderboard, shall we? Joe, would you have a karate shop climber legend? I heard he wants you to do that. Don't, don't think he does. Don't think he does. Um, thanks, Annie B. Thanks. That's pretty. It is a good video. It is a good video. It's my only only video 
that I actually like. Uh, neatly done is in first place, followed by C. Curtin, uh, Now Cut that Anime Dan, Granted Guy, C. T. Hayden, Quiz Monster, Nova Stefan, and RYRY. Very good job. Um, don't mess with Joe in the dark alley, folks. Exactly, exactly. I'm actually Moore's uh, personal protection detail as well. Um, then we just keep that one under wraps on the side. Um, the new Karate Kid is Joe. Absolutely, absolutely. Hire me, hire me. Um, anyway, question number three. Here we go. Okay, so, question number three. You guys. You guys know what this is, okay? If you don't know what this is, you'll be living under a literal, a literal rock. Um, but who can tell me what this is? I don't know why I'm even asking. It's such an easy, easy, easy point here. Oppenheimer? Uh, exactly. It is Oppenheimer. No. It's Barbie, of course. It is Barbie. Um, Barbie was great, says Mila. Charlotte says, I love the film. And hopefully, I managed to get this question right then. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and reveal the question, shall we? It is Barbie, of course. That's important you know that. Important you know that. Question number three. Here we go. In the 2023 movie, what percentage larger is this character than everything in Barbie Land? Is it? 23%, 56%, or 89%. Okay. What percentage larger is this character? Now, of course, larger, we're talking proportionately larger. So, what's the item maybe, I don't know, physically larger? Like, she is larger by a percentage. It's a hard thing to explain. Um, Harley Quinn in disguise is Cowboy Weasel. I've heard that is true. I've heard that is true. Um... I guess the percentage, geez, I don't know. I don't understand the question, Shartley. So basically, you got Barbie, okay? What percentage bigger is Barbie than everything in Barbie land? That's the question. The correct answer is 23%, okay? 84 getting that one right, 57 going 56, and 44 going for 89. Now, to explain this one a little bit, so you got Barbie here, and Barbie's gonna be, Barbie's gonna be my pink, <laughs> my pink thing, very conveniently pink. Okay, we've got Barbie here. Now, to simulate the awkwardness, because obviously, Ever played with a Barbie before? If you ever had any of the Barbie um, dolls, anything like that, Barbie is always too big for any other like plastic insert. So Barbie house, um, Barbie cars, anything like that. She's always too big for it. It awkwardly doesn't really fit. Um, so that's what they tried to mimic in the movie. You might, probably if you rewatch it, you will notice it. Now I've told you, um, but when you're when you're watching it for the first time, you don't really notice it. How about Scarf Joe, it's a balaclava. It is a balaclava. Um, anyway. Let's go on to uh, question um, question number four, shall we? Here we go. Question number four. We're talking about these. Can anyone tell me what these are? If you get this one right, I will not be impressed because it's quite quite an easy thing. You know. What are these though? What are these? A E I O U. Vowels. Of course they're vowels. Of course they're vowels. Um, no one in chat say constants, which is good. They are vowels. They are vowels. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye in French is gruff. True, true. Um, they are vowels though. A-E-I-O-U. And some people say Y as well, but I'm not, I'm not really on board with that. I think just A-E-I-O-U. The, the proper group, right? Question number four. Here we go. Um, which term describes the repetition of the of vowels in the words? Is it a ellipsis, an assonance, or... Tautology? Tautology. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Have a little second there. Have a read it. Okay. But it is tautology. Um, A E I O U. I O U points. I O U points if you get this one right. Um, the correct answer is an assonance, of course. 170. You get that one right. 24 going for a tautology. And 24 going for an ellipsis. Assonance. Easy question there. Easy number four. Let's take a look at those leaderboards. See where people are sitting so far. Here we go. I don't know, says Dot. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. What happens when you assume, uh, says Jeremy TR? I was so close, but now I can't win. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tautology is similar. It is similar, but not quite close, but no cigar, as they say. Uh, best Calibre is in first, followed by uh, Eugene, Hells Bells, Nova Stefan, um, Eileen, Malton, Year of the Tiger, Andy H, Trivia Duck, I Miss My Dog, Dot are our top 10 people so far. But all the way right now until 17th place. Neatly done. You have scraped that within an inch of your life. Exactly 30,000 points and neatly done there. Um, let's see if this next question can I bump it up bump it up a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. Charlie says neatly done. Uh, did you get three correct with 10k each? I can confirm he actually did. Got question one, two and question four correct to get that score there. So there you go. Um, kind of crazy, kind of crazy. Um, anyway, let's go on to question number five show. Where's Miss Stanley's uh, story time? Sadly, Mr. Stanley not sponsoring us this week. That was last week. Um, we're just doing normal shows this week. Anyway, question number five. Here we go. Now, 
Let's get this Kassar. Question number five. Here we go. I was about to reveal the answer. Would have been a blunder. Now I am become death. Now I am become death, okay? Now this is a quote from who? Is it a quote from Einstein, Oppenheimer, or Stephen Hawking? Now I am become death. Who is it a quote from? Now it's quite a famous quote, I'm sure. Uh, we've had our Barbie question, okay? So we've got to have our Oppenheimer question uh, being the correct answer there. 90 of you getting that one right. 27 go for Einstein. 26 go for Stephen Hawking. Good, good job. 90 of you getting that right. Um, yeah, it, it's like now I have become death. I think we all felt a little something like that on that day when they launched the bomb for the first time because it's like scary, scary stuff. Um, thought it was Barbie, says Gruff. Easy mistake to make. The films are so similar. Um, anyway, the Destroyer of Worlds has it indeed. The Destroyer of Worlds. Anyway, question uh, number five is up. So we're going to look at the leaderboards and see who's taking home a split of the prize money today. Here we go. Oppenheimer Gangnam Style says FA in chat. Interesting, interesting. Didn't know Oppenheim was a person, says Shark Leeds. Oof, that's rough. That's right, very much a person. Um, best can have it in first place, followed by Nova Stefan and Year of the Tiger, our top three ranking people today. Eileen is sitting there in fourth, followed by Andy H, I'm a dog, Trivia Duck, Dot, Urban Zero, Anime Dan, FA, Neatly Dumb, uh, Tess Want to Sue, Bertot, uh, Eugene there in 15th place, sort of falling a little bit at the last hurdle, but it's okay. He's still managing to get a split of that prize. Cowboy Weasel, Hell's Bells, You Talking to Me, uh, Bangar, Hazard. Shelly Sanders, Grant and Guy, uh, Player274, MH, Andrew Burns, Amit21, CT, We Like Shapes, TJD, Danelle, Samir Vanchin, Grant and Guy, Lucifer Gentle, uh, Behola S, now cut that out, uh, Dirk, No Worries Today, uh, AJ, RYRY, Peter, uh, I'm just going to go down the rest of this. There's so many of you guys. I can't read you all out because we will literally be here till the end of time. <laughs> um... Good job though, everyone, who managed to score um, a good split of our prize pot today. There we go. 66 people today. Very good job. Oh my gosh. High five. High five. One point. Literally one point away. That is that is terrible. That, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Um, let's go ahead and send your prizes though, if you did receive one. Um, hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. As I say, it is more Money Monday today, so we have paid out everyone that uh, is due for a payout so far. Uh, remember that you have to verify your email address to qualify for a payout and you also have to reach over that £5 threshold. Um, very good job. Ouch, I feel for a high five. I know, that is rough. That is rough. Um, no high five. Sadly not. Sadly not. Anyway, thank you guys so much for playing. It's been great fun. Um, I'm going to go and put my black belt back on as I do every time I finish a show um, just because I can. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for playing. It's been great fun. I will see you all later um, in the 8 p.m. BST show today, um, hosted by yours truly again. So you want to make sure you uh, you come to that one. It's going to be good. More questions, more prizes, always good fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.